Good rainy morning, Banner Fanner family. I know it's loud. I'll explain it, but I am cooking. Watch the video from start to finish and consider a partnership with me on Patreon or here on YouTube. So today's video is a brief cooking video because I started cooking and realized I hadn't done a cooking video for you in a little bit. So I started up the camera. Now I've got a temporary situation back here with the fan <laughs> where it's sucking the air out. And it's a very loud fan because this is an exhaust fan for a vehicle. I really do want to go back and get another one of these fans and put it in the side window over here so I can have this one blow in and that one suck out. Anyway, it's raining. I've had to close my door. I've had to put my two windows up in the front. So I did a temporary setup with this. This is not its permanent battery power setup, but I'm not going to go into explanations of what I did temporarily. It's just right now while I'm cooking because it's really hot in here. So I've got all the other sliding windows open while it's raining. Hopefully nothing gets too terribly wet and hopefully this rain goes away so I can open my side door quickly. Now let's get to cooking. I'm finally using this black rice by Black Soil. It is organic. Never used it before so I'm not sure how it's going to cook up. I only did about a half a cup and I put um, a little over a half a cup of water in there. Looks like it's absorbing the water quite well. I had already cooked up. I had already cooked up the Beyond Burger two patties using my Trader Joe's 21 Season Salute and my turmeric, which is why it has that nice yellow color to it. Between the rain and the fan, there's a lot of noise going on, so I'll try and talk loudly. So, the rice is not quite done. The instructions on the bag did have instructions for a rice cooker, so I'm thinking it's gonna take me a while to get this done on stovetop. So I'll come back when the rice is done and when I mix everything together and add in the bruschetta. I'll see if there's anything else I want to add in there too and let you know what the final taste results are in my uh, opinion of the black rice. Okay guys, so um, it's been no time for you, but it's been a long ass time for me. <laughs> this rice took a really long time to cook. Um, <clears throat> so that's a negative in my book. <laughs> You guys know I don't like cooking and I don't want something that's going to take forever. But I'm going to bring you over and let you see the rice up close. And I only used a half of a cup and I'm so glad I did because, geez, this cooked up to be a lot. I had to add water to it because it was absorbing it so much. So I'm going to bring you over and let you see. Um, I turned that fan off. It's just got to be so very loud. It looks like the rain is letting up. So at some point I'll open the door back up. But let's take a look at the rice. Okay, here's the black rice. We'll get some light up here. All right, so there's the black rice. And like I said, it absorbed all of the water. I only did a half of a cup. It's very hot. It finally is tender enough to go ahead and eat. And so, like usual, because I still haven't found me a bigger um, pan to cook in, or a bigger pot, rather, I should say, not pan, I'm going to be using my big bowl that I use for making my salad. So I'm going to dump the black rice in there. Pretty much all the water is absorbed, so there was no need to um, drain it. I probably, let's see, I put a half a cup of rice and I put just under a half a cup of water the first time. And then I had to add two more half cups of water. So yeah, it, it did take quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my Beyond Burger meat that I crumble up and to make it into uh, ground meat. Mix that up. You know what I would love? I would love to find a little handle that I can clip to this. Something I can just clip to. It sounds like the rain is coming back, unfortunately. 
I decided I'm gonna go ahead and put the beets in this. So I'm going to drain this water off and put the beets in. The reason I go ahead and drain that is because um, the bruschetta is very saucy, you know, wet. So I don't want the liquid from this and the liquid from the bruschetta in this. It's too much, too much. And here's my favorite bruschetta from Trader Joe's, bruschetta, bruschetta. I don't know if I'm saying it right, probably not. I never say stuff right. I don't care. So we're gonna dump that in there. I know no um this is normally used, and I've said this before, like on crackers or toast or whatever, but I love it as like a sauce for pasta, for rice, whatever. I think it's just flavored very well. This Trader Joe's one is the best one I've ever found. I've tried a couple other cheaper ones at grocery stores and stuff, but nothing compares to the Trader Joe's taste. It's worth the two dollars and i believe 68 cents that this costs to me in my opinion anyway so we're all mixed up i'm gonna turn this cooktop on very low just to warm it up a little i mean the rice was hot and the meat was warm but because i added in the two canned items i want to just you know i just want to have a nice warm meal just you know bring it up to room temperature a little a little above room temperature because i don't really want to cook in this this is not for cooking even though it is stainless steel, you can cook in it, but the sides do get hot. So I just want to warm up a little. And then I'm going to do a taste test and uh, let you know what I think about this combination. I've never done this combination before. This is the kind of cook I am. I just throw stuff together based on what I have and see what happens. So I'll come back in a second. I'll let this simmer for about a minute. Come back and let you know how it tastes. Okay, it's all warmed up. I am not really hungry because I'm cooking this in the morning and I don't really eat in the mornings. So I'm just going to get a little bit just to taste. Make sure I get some bruschetta. Make sure I get at least a half of a beet and some Beyond Meat. Let's try it. Okay. The sweetness of the beet, the seasoned meat, the rice doesn't have a strong taste, the acidic of the bruschetta. All right. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So, I'll be nibbling on this all day. Now, Miss K made a, made a run yesterday to Red Lobster, so I have some cheddar cheese biscuits. <laughs> so I'm going to nibble on one of these here biscuits in this concoction. Call it a day. Thank you for watching another video from start to finish. Mwah! You've got a few more seconds left. Congratulations to Brandy H. You win the Wash Away's washing squares. Please contact me at email crystal at crystalvanner.com with your mailing address and full YouTube name. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Check out the playlist of the journey from day one. And a big thank you to my channel partners for making this video possible.